What's up guys, Garrett here at Reach Out Reptiles and Canova is probably one of the kings of the reptile trade. They're at the top of the game at the most popular species, the ball pythons. So this week I actually went down to check out Justin Kabilka's place and talk with him about his innovations in snake flesh as well as his facility and see what we can't learn from the master himself. Oh, Let's do it. That is a cool snake. You guys ready to go check out Canova? I've never been there. Pretty excited actually to see the way that uh, Justin does things. Always something to learn from when you talk to that guy. Let's just see how it worked out. Gates got the old logo. Cool. climate change right there. Yeah. This is our This is super even though. Mm -hmm. You can tell those fans are Yeah, we working. Got these giant fans. They're literally called big ass fans. You this put it on is full nice. Speed, it like blows you across the room. Yeah. You you feel the climate change in here? Oh, it's nice. It's, it's like cool. very it it's feels like I went almost the... incubator level yeah. with a little lower humidity. And oh, this is what I actually want to see. Can I see how yeah, you guys yeah, yeah. did the incubator? I have been known to come and sit in this corner of the incubator and warm up when I'm cold in the office. Zenchi in there, but an or orange dream. Gotta be. But holy smokes, I see the videos of these, but that does. Can I can I touch one? Yeah, go for it. If it's, that, if it's out, you can get it out. Yeah. Some of your videos do no justice. To I know these it's hard to capture the color. Uh, I mean, she makes good videos, but look at that. That's not even one of our best. I mean, it's no, nice, but like, we've got better. The orange on that is insane. Or, what is this one? Orange green cloud tide? Yeah, it probably has yellow belly in it too. It's but no inchy. No inchy. No, inchy. no inchy in either of these. Oh, really? That's ODYB Pied Head. Oh. ODYB Leo Pied Head Clown. These are crazy. I watched your videos. They look yeah. great on the video, but it's still yeah. way better in person. Well, I was telling him, I mean, we've got way better pies than that. Oh, way better. Yeah. Right. Check it out. Banana Pied. Oh, just kidding. That's not even a banana. These Holy are packed. smokes. And now this would be the one without, this is that's one layer of orange, orange dream or not? No, nope, that's just fire yellow belly. Okay, fire yellow so belly. So we'll, 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 we'll do it in sequence here. You have yellow belly yeah. right here, yellow belly pied. See now I love, with pieds for me it's contrast, but that is amazing. That's a pumpkin pied, is that what they are? That's, that's right, we made the first one a few years oh, ago. look at that, I remember. Good job. Fire yellow belly pie. Okay, so fire. next See layer. See how it's just like a little lighter? Yep, and okay. starting to purple it out just a bit. This is OD fire yellow belly pie. Now how do you see the fire in that? Just because it's so it's just, light. It's, it's, it's a light, it's like a light, light orange, orange versus the deep orange. Deep orange, okay. Holy cow. These are ultra mill Krypton combos. Wow. You gotta break them down to all the more for me because I don't know the Here, pull all that the table over here. So the big thing on yellow bellies they have these heavy edging on the sides. Right in here. Yeah. Or this one is clean. Not that way. Um, but when you add all these other morphs it blows it up big time. So this so. is the best thing that you have ever done. The other guy I felt was really good with this was uh, Rennick. Yeah. Was uh, taking five subtle genes and putting them together not five crazy things that just makes a pattern less banana. That's the thing, we find it just overwhelms Really subtle everything. stuff, stuff that, like all these are morphs that other than the Ultra Mill, mm -hmm. retic guys wouldn't even be able to tell they were morphs. No, by themselves. Like, oh, it's a normal. Yeah, by themselves would <laughs> be really hard. Yeah. So that's like spot nose, yellow belly, Ultra Mill. Oh God, I love the spot nose in that. So much contrast, so much oh, to it. That is a cool snake. This is adding red stripe. And it's Krypton. So this is the combo. This is the crypt Krypton. So it's Het Crypt again, Het Clown. This is the Mojave version. This, and then you add Mojave. That's, this, this, that, that's yeah, very banana ish, that, right? Yeah. No which I prefer the contrast of these, but I love the way it opens those the oranges. Right? Really, and you're not going to get spots on these right, as they grow. I can guarantee you this video is not capturing um. this. So this is pretty cool. Here we have like Justin was saying that he's got a dedicated shipping room. This was something new that he said. He says this is probably the way to do it. He's had different racks and storage stuff before. But you've got these standardized bins. Got my 
cool new rebrand Canova shirt. These are really nice. But he's got the bins that can go on shelves or they can go on here. He's even got double-sided ones there if you wanted to make like little islands. So that's a really cool system for organization. I love this cabinet, just like the locking supply cabinet. You know what I mean? Um, and I can see he's got some medicine in there, but even just things like Sharpies, like where do I get the next Sharpie? And then this looks familiar. This is more like our little shipping station here. He's got all of his paper and all that stuff. So that's just really cool. Like, but I mean, see these, how you have the door, it's closed off. You don't lose it or anything, but you have just everything is organized out. Really the innovation here is probably honestly just the amount of space that they have. You know, really important to be able to kind of throw your new boxes in there until they get staged and still work around them. This is pretty cool too. Look at this cart. You got the cart with all the different bins. I like that, especially if you have something that you're commonly doing. I like this, that's giving me ideas. Okay, so like one of the things that you won't be able to tell from this video is that when you walk through this door from kind of like the lobby area into the snake room, there's a massive climate change. I asked Justin how he deals with humidity because there's definitely a lot of humidity in here. And he says it's honestly just from the cocoa bedding, you know, getting all the water in that stuff and throwing it in the bins. So all of the humidity in here is from the water used to break those down. But then the temperature is perfectly even. And I've seen a lot of videos about featuring this fans. I didn't realize how many he has. He has like two fans in every corner, but here's the really innovative part. All of the fans in the facility are hooked up on these two switches. And that is really cool as a snake breeder because it's loud. There's a ton of background noise. And now I can just kick it off and it's dead quiet for filming and then ready to go right back in and on they go. And then along with that, uh, one thing I noticed because Thomas here and Summer have been kind of like lighting, geeking out while we're talking. Look at the types of lights that he has in the room. Do you know anything about, like these are like daylight temps, maybe 5,000 K? Do you know anything about that? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, that's a Justin question. He ordered all the lights. And, uh, uh, but yeah, they are, it's definitely a more, I think it's a little bit maybe cooler than daylight. They're not fluorescent though, they're LED. Yeah, they are LEDs. And they actually have a, a rounded diffuser that's like LEDs are make like harsh shadows. And you can see a little bit of the shadow if you move my finger over my hands like that. But that's not what you want if you're shooting a snake or something like that. You're also getting a lot of bounce off the floors and walls, so it's just very soft. And so it's a really well lit room, which is amazing because you have this awesome collection of animals, you wanna be able to have it always look good. All right, so here's the other one that I wanna just show you is that first of all, there's like a massive, like really wide hallways. This is the narrowest hallway right here, and I still can't touch the racks. So you're, you're like probably six feet apart on this. And then I don't know if you noticed, but like the corners are clipped. So it's rounded uh, as you come through here. And I asked Justin, why do you have that? Are you like pulling a rack out and moving it through? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? Why do you need so much space? And he said, honestly, I was crowded before and it was just a peace thing. Peace of mind, you know, it feels good to have this much space. So paying the extra for the square footage to really have a place that just makes you feel like, oh, I love being in here. This one area right here actually has a, a lot of innovations. First of all, you have cold water spouts, two different ones for each sink plugged into the wall. And then you have a fully operational commercial sink. So I've got a sprayer here that I can grab. I can adjust the temperature if I need warm water for something. And I can go from a regular spout over the faucet up to here. That's really cool. I love the stainless steel all the way up. So the backsplash goes all the way to the ceiling. And then there's a few of these in here, which probably solve a lot of issues, especially if you open doors in the summer or whatever. I thought that that was maybe like some kind of a purifier or something. He said, no, those are, those are actually bug uh, repellents. So here's the other thing. He said he wanted sinks everywhere. So he's got one there, around there, he's got one there. He's got one around there. So there's literally like four sinks just in this snake room. So now we're in the back of the building and one of the cool things, aside from having the lobby, which is like facing to have like deliveries and guests and things like that, he also has this awesome storage bay areas with the roll up doors. And I don't know, Thomas, you notice when you step out of that ball python room into here, it cools down a lot. He doubles up on the pest control, which is awesome. And 
and you have this sep completely separate climate, so it's pleasant to work in and everything. Obviously, tons and tons of freezer space, and more so than that, you got your big fans again and your own private rodent breeding facility. Holy crap. Super clean. And I, I love the storage in here. I think if this was mine, like he's got all of his rodent production stuff in here. I think if this was my space, I would even, you know, go further with these and just do like some pallet jack storage so that I could bring it in on a, on a pallet truck and stuff. You know, dream scenario, obviously. So one thing about this beautiful concrete epoxy floor, I mean, it, as nice as it looks, as easy it is to clean, a concrete floor is always gonna suck your heat away. So it's kind of cool to see on the Freedom Breeder racks, he's got one inch foam you know, insulation set into here to keep a cooler temperature. There's like a 10 degree temperature difference above and below this thing. So to keep all that heat with, with the snakes where he's wanted, he has this on these. But let's see what he does with his, um, his PVC racks. So these already come with a little bit of a base, but I'm suspecting that he probably had the couple, bottom couple layers getting a little bit too cool. And so putting the ventilation and building a separate one just to allow that, the ventilation not to get trapped. That can go ahead and be cold and this can go ahead and be warm without having to fight each other. All right, so here we actually have the office area. And Summer's over here, maybe, can you give us a little tour of your workspace? Sure. What does a Canova media person live like? My setup is essentially, um, I have a little laptop, Plug it into this monitor, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. And the key is having lots of screen space so that you can multitask. So I can have my sales or emails, info, things going on, on this screen while I'm editing a video over here, vice versa. So having a lot of room to move different things around and have lots of tabs open. That's pretty much it. I sit here and I click around and then every now and then I get up and I go check on some snakes and peek in the incubator and then I come back here and I click around some more. What an awesome time, what an honor to be down at Canova and get the time to hang out with those guys. We had an awesome lunch later. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I know I certainly did. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Justin and Summer for showing us around. We'll catch you guys next week. Did you guys know that we have a vlog? We actually have a vlog channel right here. You should subscribe. Well, it might be here. I'm not really sure where it is. Somewhere here on the screen, there's a vlog channel for you to subscribe to. That would help us out because we have a lot of fun over there.